Nate Life Ambassadors, welcome to another Facebook Five. This month will be all about aftercare. We'll be talking about Lifeline of Ohio's partnerships with funeral homes and all the work our bereavement team does. First, let's hear from Lisa O. Stryker, our funeral home and coroner liaison here at Lifeline of Ohio. So I am the funeral home and coroner liaison here at Lifeline of Ohio. Um, so my main goal is to build partner relationships with our 300 funeral homes we have in our service area, along with all of our county corner offices. Um, I go out and do funeral home visits probably about twice a week to um, answer any questions, do some one-on-one -on -one education. I also provide some educational opportunities um, for the funeral home directors to get some continuing education and just kind of helping them um, and include them in the process of the donation and, and making sure that they know that we're taking care of the same families. So our Lasting Legacy is a beautiful program that we um, provide for our donor families via our funeral homes. So we deliver these Lasting Legacies, which is a beautiful leather memory box. Um, inside is a sun catcher that talks about the ripple effect and how that one gift can really touch so many lives, um, along with a card to the family. And you know, families love it, the community that comes in to support the family. And so the funeral home receives this and they're actually the ones who set this up for us and make sure that it's available for the family during visitation. Um, and it's just been wonderfully received. Next, let's hear from Mallory Senflin and Alex Frederick, Bereavement Coordinators. We really want our families to know that we're not going to forget them and we're gonna be with them and companion with them on their grief journey. And part of that is really making sure that we're supporting their families in one of the most difficult times that they're ever encountering. And so we feel like it is our honor and our privilege, but also our responsibility to make sure that we are really walking alongside them in this journey. So we really, our hope is that our families know that they can lean on us um, in that difficult time. So donor families can honor uh, their loved ones in a variety of different ways. Um, they can elect to have their loved one's name added to our donor memorial wall. Um, and because it's outside, they can visit that day or night. One of my favorites is our shadow boxes. And so those are just uh, 12 by 12 boxes that um, have photos and different mementos that um, it's not just saying the name and seeing a picture, but it really shows you about that, that person, their life, the things they loved, their personality. And it's really an opportunity for us to not only remember their loved one, but to share the importance of donation. We host a lot of events, um, probably about 10 to 12 a year. Um, our most attended event, I would say, is our donor family reception, which is um, really just an opportunity for families to come together and share and reflect on their hero's life. And we have opportunities for them to share about their loved one through um, kind of an open mic. They can share some, some words and some memories of their loved one. And so it's just a really special event um, for our families and again for them to be able to connect with other families who have gone through a similar experience. And we also have two different events that are open to the public as well. So our candlelight ceremony and our holiday tree lighting. Uh, which are really open to anybody that believes in our mission and what we do here at Lifeline of Ohio. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something new about the aftercare process. If you have questions for our bereavement team, you can email them at bereavementservices at lifelineofohio.org or just give us a call. And as always, if you have questions about the aftercare process or ideas for Facebook Vibes that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below.